Hi there, Renee here with Third Coast Learning. Welcome to another tutorial on Facebook Pages for Business. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can edit some of the settings on Facebook Messenger so that you can better communicate with your customers. So let's dive right in. The first thing we want to do is make sure that your customers have the ability to communicate with you via Messenger. So notice here I have the Learn More button. However, if I go in and view my page as a visitor, I want to show you all what it looks like how people can send a message. So if you want to make sure that this button is visible and enabled on your page, I'm going to show you how you can set that up and then some fun features that you can use on communicating via Messenger with your customers or your page audience. So let's switch back to our main view and Looks like that's not wanting to function for me, so let me just go back the old-fashioned way. Okay, so now we have access again to our settings. I'm just in the same set, the same area of the page that you would see when you're logged into your Facebook account and you're on your business page. So we're going to go ahead and click on settings here in this top bar. So click there on settings. And as always, it defaults to the general settings that you can go in and change on your page. So over here on this left bar, you have all kinds of features and functionality that you can go in and set up. Default here, we're on general. So I'm going to just scroll down to messages. And you'll see that here on my page, it does say that people can contact my page privately. So I'm going to show you what happens when we go in and edit this. If yours doesn't say that, you'll want to make sure that you click on that edit and make sure that this box has a check mark in it. And this will allow people to contact your page privately by showing that message button that I just showed you just now. If this box were not checked, that means it's going to remove that send message button from your page and no one will be able to message you directly through that page. So again, this is a feature you want to make sure is enabled. So make sure that this box is checked. I'm just going to cancel out of here because I didn't make any changes. So this does default. The default setting is that it is enabled. So unless you went in and changed this, yours should automatically say that. But that's where you can go and check out and make sure that that setting is enabled on your page. So now let's go in and change and see if we need to alter some of those settings in the messaging application of the Facebook page. So you're going to go ahead and click on messaging over here on the left sidebar. So click on that and then we have three main areas under the messaging settings. The first section is general settings as you can see here. The next is a response assistant and appointment messaging. So let's go into the general settings and I'll cover and explain some of these for you. The first one as you can see is turned to off on my page and I do recommend this um, but it, this really is just a preference on your part of whether you want this to be on or off as a feature. This setting will allow you to use the return key to send messages. So what that means is as you're typing a message to a client or customer or someone who's engaging with your page, if you hit the enter or return key on your keyboard, it will use that feature to send the message. Now, personally, I sometimes like to be able to add an extra space or an extra line or maybe multiple paragraphs in some of the communication with my audience members. So for my purposes, I want to not use the return or enter key in order to access that message or send that message. So I'm going to leave that setting to off. And again, that's just preference for you. Another setting that I like to leave turned off is prompting people to send messages. Now, this I think defaults as on, and what that means is every page, every time someone goes to your page, a window is going to pop up in Messenger to prompt them to send you a message. 
Now, for me, I feel like personally, when I'm visiting pages, that's a bit intrusive to me and it's a little bit distracting. So my personal preference is to leave that feature turned off. So I'm gonna leave that turned off on my business page as well. Again, that's a feature, if you feel like people are probably visiting your page to message you, you might wanna leave that enabled. It's definitely just a personal preference on what you want. Another feature that you can turn on is to help people start a conversation with your page. So if you wanted people to communicate with you, you might show some frequently asked questions. And I'll show you an example because right now I do have this feature turned on on my page. If we click on this change button, a window is gonna pop up and it's gonna show some options that you can type in your messages. So you might prompt people to ask you some of the following questions. And you have, I'm not sure what the limit is. Um, for the most part, you don't wanna put too many questions in there, but you can add a number of different questions. So the questions will appear on if someone's using a mobile device, this is how it might show up. So question number one that we have set up here is where are you located? So someone might see that and be prompted to ask. So when they click ask, it's going to automate that response and it's going to, when they hit that, it's going to send it automatically on their behalf. Another question you might ask is what are your hours? What services do you offer? So you can add any number of questions and you can go in and set that up. So here again, if you click on add a question, it's going to enable you to add those additional questions. I don't wanna add those right now, so I'm just gonna cancel out of this and not make any changes to that area. So again, that enables people to start a conversation with your page. Now this next feature is very interesting. It's an automated response assistant. So Facebook does issue badges for pages that have quick and immediate responses to people that are interacting with pages via Messenger. If you respond really quickly, you can earn that badge. However, if you're not really responsive or immediately responsive to people that are messaging your page, you might wanna use a response assistant such as this one that I have selected here. This allows you to send instant replies to anyone who messages your page. So let me show you what this looks like. I'm gonna click on the change button here and it's gonna show, oh look, someone says, hello, I have a question. I have a setting that automatic, automatically, as an automated feature, sends this message to anyone immediately when they send a question. And it says the following, thanks for messaging us, Renee. Notice that I have a personalized uh, feature added to my message. I'll show you how you can do that. We can't wait to connect with you soon. Now I've added, I've edited all of this information and added that personalization here. So here's how this works. As you're typing, as a, uh, typing in a message that you want to automatically respond to anyone who messages your page, you can type anything you want in this area. So you might say something like, thanks for messaging us, Renee. Now how I added that personalization is I clicked on this link where it says add personalization and I have the following options. You can add the person's first name, last name, full name. You can add a link to your Facebook. You can add also a link to your website. So for example, if you have a retail business and you're selling things through your Facebook page, then you might wanna go ahead and add a link to direct people to go shop on your website. That's a feature that I've utilized on some of my other pages that I manage. You might want to prompt people to call you immediately if you're a business that where people can call or send an email. So all of these features are personalizations that can be added to this area. For my purposes, I just wanted to add a little bit of personalization and add the person's first name who's contacting me. So it's using me as an example 
but the person that will see this will see their own first name as a personalized message to them. So it just adds a nice personal, personalized feature to that message. So I'm going to cancel out of that because I didn't want to make any changes there. But of course, you'll go in and have it read whatever it is that you want to say. Now, if you have a business that doesn't operate all the time and you're not going to be messaging people after hours, you might want to turn the feature on that lets people know that you're away from a messenger and can't respond. So here's an example of what my message might say. If they say, hello, I have a question, I might say something like, hi, Renee, thanks for your message. We're not online right now, but we'll get back to you very soon. Thanks for reaching out. And I can schedule this to pop up during my away hours. So if you click on the schedule area up here, you'll notice that I have it set up for my business hours when I'm not likely to respond to messages. And that, for my purposes, I set up from 10 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning. If you're only going to respond during business hours, you'll want to edit this to show any of those days that your business is closed and you're not likely to respond. So you can go in and set up these messages so you can set it up according to the, uh, the time that your page is set up. Uh, so you'll want to set up those features. You can change the time. You can change the date. So again, I'm not going to change this right now. I just wanted to show you what you can do with that. You can also set up a messenger greeting. And you can think of this sort of like welcoming someone to your page. So once they open up Messenger, they're going to automatically see a message like this the first time they open a conversation. And I have set up where it says, hi, thanks for getting in touch with us on Messenger. And then it, it will allow them to see that. So again, I'm not going to change anything there. If you have appointments set up on your page, then you can set up reminders. You can even set up follow-ups on mine. I don't take message uh, appointments on my page, so I really only kind of have this set up as a default there, but you might have additional settings depending on what you have set up on your page. So I hope that this helps you see some ideas and some areas where you can change your messenger settings to interact with people that are communicating on your page. And once again, to get to these settings, you just click on settings, make sure that box is checked so that people can message you under your general settings, and then go into messaging right under that general tab. So once again, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me through my page. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you.